Happy birthday, Brian. We bought you a cake with the groceries, so it got smashed by a jug of Tide in the car. Open your presents. Yeah, you got one from Rami Malek, star of Mr. Robot. Wow, he gave me the dark circles around his eyes. Ah, oh, cool. Did he also include his dead soul monotone? No, I don't. Uh, oh, oh, wait, hang on. I didn't see it at first because it was under some tissue paper. Now open mine. Minions 3? Yeah, and this one, Gru, has been replaced by Harvey Weinstein. Oh, you like working for bad guys? I'll show you a bad guy. Now you touch it. You know what to touch. B banana! Peter, I was once a lot like you. Unmotivated, dangerously obese, always relying on cutaways. You know, that reminds me of the time... No, that... Peter, no more cutaways. Stay in the present. Okay. Okay, now tell me what you feel. Uh, a partial erection? I don't get touched very often. You know you deserve a better life, right, Peter? Yes. Getting hard to breathe in here. Okay, Chris, your mom and I want to help you get out some of that aggression, so I thought you and me could huck rotten apples at passing cars. Oh, I didn't know we had brown apple in the forecast. Well, we needed it. Wow, can I have a turn? Hey, which one of you threw that apple at my car? He did it. He dragged me out here. I wanted to be in school, sir. Where'd you get a cannon like that, kid? I work out my right arm three times a day. Mm, free weights? No, mostly JPEGs of Helen Hunt on my hard drive. Well, I'm Coach Doyle, and I head up the baseball team at James Woods High. What fake class did I also make you teach? Driver's Ed, right? No, Woodshop. Ah, that was my second guess. Tell me, son, how would you like to pitch for the high school team? Baseball's the sport people play while eating, right? Oh, yeah. Man, getting in a gang is gonna be harder than I thought. Speak for yourself, Peter. What gang is this? We're the not cops. We're all definitely not cops. So, you think firemen are cool? Firemen cook spaghetti. And I think y'all know who I joined. Are you now Kareem abdul Jablivland? I am Kareem abdul Jablivland. Hey, you know Muslims can't drink alcohol, right? I am Cleveland Hurricane Carter. Well, Quagmire, guess it's just you and me now. Sorry, Peter. I'm in MS-13. What? How? It was easy. I said I was loco. Loco. Si. Muy loco. Well, I can be loco. I have a teardrop tattoo on my cheek. Where? I don't see it. No, not that cheek. Peter, that's an unwiped watermelon seed. Loco? No. No loco. Peter, your comic in this morning's paper is really offensive. <laughs> that's not funny, Peter. Ah, you're just not getting it, Lois. See, his wife washed dishes for him. Oh, for Pete's sake. Ah, there you go. Peter, you should see this. Your dishwasher cartoon has really outraged the online community. What? Gosh, it's not like the internet to go crazy about something small and stupid. Peter, you have to apologize. What, because of a joke? Not just a joke, Peter. A joke that angered some bloggers. <sighs> well, I guess this ain't the first time I got in trouble for something I said about a woman. Oh, good. We can steal. Oh, my God. Chris is still in there. Somebody save Chris! You know what? He's earned that. Hey, Quagmire, what do you got there? It's the new Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. Check it out. Those swimsuit issues don't excite me like they used to. I've been spoiled by internet porn. It's true. Totally. What do you mean, internet porn? You, uh, don't know about internet porn? Don't know what? I'm not really a computer guy. Quagmire, I would think you of all people would know about internet porn. They've got, like, thousands, literally millions of naked pictures on the internet. What? And videos. Thousands of them. You guys are messing with me. Quagmire, you don't use the internet? You mean that crappy dial-up thing that's a pain in the ass? No, I don't use the damn internet. I thought that was for nerds. Why didn't you guys tell me? Oh, yeah, you can even see Tanya Harding's honeymoon video on there. I mean, it's gross, but it's like famous gross. Quagmire? There you are. Nobody's seen you in days. Hey, Peter. I've just been, uh, checking out some of that internet porn. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just gonna... Go, go and check my mail over there. I think we should all go together to pick Meg up. She's probably a little fragile after being in there so long, and I'm sure she'll be heartened to see our faces. I'm home. You're all my bitches now. Okay. Meg! 
big. You look so different. How is prison? First question, who's the biggest, toughest guy in this house? Well, I don't like to toot my own horn, but I believe I hold the distinction of... <laughs> <laughs> My house now, bitch. Now who's the funniest? I know my way around a joke. Okay, Lois, 15 seconds on the clock. Name something you sit in. A chair. My own feces. Name a popular fruit. Orange. Clay Aiken. Something in your closet. Shoes. Scary monsters. Your favorite holiday. Christmas. 9-11. Something you do on the weekends. Go to church. Black guys. All right, something you sit in. You said chair. Survey set. Wait a sec, I said feces. Where's my answer? Oh, you're just gonna pretend I'm not here, huh? I am so sorry, Mrs. Griffith. I have no idea what got into my son. Well, just have him return the candy and everything's fine. Justin, you give this young man his candy back right now. All right, here. Thanks. Now we want Justin's candy. What? You hurt me. Take Justin's bag of candy and pour it into Stewie's. All of it. And if I think you're holding back on me, we're going to have a serious problem. Well, all right. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, serious problem. Good. Now go in your purse, take out $40, and put it in the bag. All right, all right, Lois. You're kind of scaring me now. Uh, I, I don't have $40. All right. I understand. I'll be back tomorrow for the $80. And I'm taking your welcome mat. Psst. Hey, dog. What? You want in? Yeah. Well, look at this. She's taped photographs of Virginia Woolf and Katy Perry on the inside cover as if she's some sort of hip hybrid of those two things. Ugh, yeah, like she could ever write Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Brian, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf was not written by Virginia Woolf. Yeah, obviously. But, you know, it's, it's pretty much about her. It really isn't, Brian. Let's, uh, let's just get into this, huh? Dear Diary, got down to 152 today. I think that's a nice wait for me. Oh, here's another one. Dear Diary, just discovered the music of John Denver. Wow-wee, where's this been? Hey, look at this. Kent is so incredibly sexy. He said hi to me today, and I almost died. Also, I learned a funny lesson today in my pursuit of Kent. Anal bleaching is better left to professionals. LOL. Oh, oh, oh no, oh. no, no. Hey, guys, what football team should I like? Mahmood says we all need to act like we're fans of American football, so we seem less... But, but suspicious. What? What are you talking about? I'm talking about my mood. You know, I actually feel really bad for him. Do you know he knew 19 guys who died on 9-11? I mean, what are the odds? Peter, I think you joined a terrorist sleeper cell. What? That's crazy. Look, I'm going to call my mood right now on this cell phone he gave me. He'll tell you. Damn phone's busted. Maybe I dialed wrong. Peter, please stop trying to call Mahmood. This is very serious. Your friends are terrorists. Think about it. Peter, you want another waffle? Eh, I can't, Lois. I promised Janice I'd take a shift. Can I get two eggs scrambled on toast? Sure thing, honey. Adam and Eve on a raft, wreck them. I'd like a hot dog with ketchup and some jello, please. Paint a bow wow red and a side of nervous pudding. Can I have a well done burger with lettuce and tomato? Burn one, drag it through the garden, pin a rose on it. Can I use your bathroom? Got a telephone pole heading to the swimming hole, spray it with sunshine. Well, it looks like it's almost time for us to pull our cords. Wait, wait, guys, how about this? Last one to open their chute gets 20 bucks. Okay. I'm in. Oh, damn it! I'm dead already, Peter. You're looking at a dead man. I might not even pull the cord at all. Peter, what are we doing here? I thought we were looking for your mattress. We are. This is a 1950s insane asylum. They use old mattresses to pad the walls of the cells. May I help you? Yes, 1950s doctor. Me and my friends are looking for... Your friends with a Negro and a cripple? This man is insane. Take him away. Ah. Now, wait a second. You can't do that to... A Negro speaking up to a white person? This man is insane. <laughs> <laughs> Now, look, I don't think... All cripples are insane. Euthanize this man. Ugh. Something I can help you with? Yeah, you got any brain-dead women in there you let people have sex with for a few bucks? Sure, come on back. Guns are a major problem, especially in the hands of someone like... <laughs>
It was in a box with Chris's adoption papers. Oh. You heard nothing. Boy, this is harder than I thought. My arms are getting really tired. No, you're fine. Just keep going. Ty, your positivity is infectious. All right, P-Town Wave coming in. I'm just going to give you a little push. And you stand up. Hi, I've got my gun here. I'd like to rent a stall, please. Sure. You need a tutorial before you start? <laughs> yeah, it's a gun range. I think I got it. Wait! I think I did it wrong! I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. I'm glad we waited. <coughs> Giraffity! Yeah, see, that's not mine. Let's just get to church, and afterward, you're going to the mall to go clothes shopping. Well, you're coming with me. Last time I tried shopping without you, it was a disaster. Hey, I'm home. I got groceries. You what? Yeah, I was driving past there, and we were out of some stuff, so I... You listen to me, you son of a bitch. I've got one thing in this lifetime. One thing! <laughs> you always say I never do anything around here. Yeah, I like saying that more than I like you doing things. Dad, I got the rest from the car. We're... Chris, run! You were right. She didn't appreciate it. Oh, crap. Ow! I think emotionally, I've always been a lizard. You know? And now I feel comfortable, finally, in my leathery, scaly skin. Kids, if you need me, I'll be on the wall making rapid, darting glances. Is this just to get out of my parents' visit? No. Hello? Okay, everybody ready? Hey, where's Quagmire? Would you just sit down and go to the bathroom already? Actually, I had to rent a Mustang. Na 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 Spider-Man! Spider-Man! Here comes Peter on the clothesline, but his name's not Peter, it is Spider-Man! Spider-Man! Come on, Lois, let's get busy, maybe in the garden right here, Spider-Man! Spider-Man! Touch my can with your hand, Spider-Man! <laughs> Come on, let's go, Brian. I'm gonna get revenge, just like I did against that pigeon that pooped on my car. Ah! That's right. Get it nice and clean. Hey, Meg, watch. <laughs> By God, I may not be able to give my family a vibrating sex doll, but at least I can give them a pool. All right, now, kids, I don't want anyone swimming in this pool unless there's a lifeguard on duty. <laughs> duty. <laughs> Diarrhea. Hey, Lois. What? Diarrhea. <laughs> Pete, I'm holding iced tea. <sighs> hey, any of you know how to tie a tie? I have to go to a patient's funeral. You can just Google it. Yeah, I did that before my last surgery, and, well, <laughs> there's a lot of bad info out there. <laughs> Let's see. Suggested videos for you. Joe Rogan interviews Boss Baby. Good Night Moon. Fact or hoax? Whoa, listen to this one, Rupert. The truth about naps. I hate naps. And I love the truth. That stall is for the differently abled, you know. Well, how do you know it's not a handicapped person in there? Look, no chair, no crutches. Whoever's in there definitely shouldn't be. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry. Yeah, sure you are. Hey, you mind flush it for me, pal? No arms over here. Hey, where's Dad? He said he was going to help me with my science fair project. Up here, kids. Thoughts? We're gonna call you Mr. Skin. 